Cards Against Humanity bought land on the US-Mexican border in an effort to halt Trump's plan to erect a wall. Find out about the company's latest, greatest stunt here. While the real victor in a game of Cards Against Humanity usually requires a real dark sense of humor, the company known for its pranks just had a winning, and heartwarming, response to Donald Trump, 71, and prospective plans to build his border wall. On November 15, the irreverent Chicago-based card game company announced on their website they were having a holiday promotion, which allowed people to buy $15 surprise gift packages that would go toward their wall-blocking project. Cards Against Humanity wrote, Donald Trump is a preposterous golem who is afraid of Mexicans. He is so afraid that he wants to build a $20 billion wall that everyone knows will accomplish nothing. So we purchased a plot of vacant land on the border and retained a law firm specializing in eminent domain to make it as time-consuming and expensive as possible for the wall to get built. We'll let you finish slow clapping. Cards Against Humanity also revealed that chipping in to block Trump's wall is the first installment in their six-day holiday gift tradition. On day one, all Cards Against Humanity Saves America recipients will get an illustrated map of the land, a certificate of our promise to fight the wall, some new cards, and a few other surprises, the company added. We reported earlier how Trump was seen making a downright ridiculous face while engaging in an awkward handshake at the Association of Southeast Asian Nations Conference, but this news will probably contort his face to new levels of disturbing. Trump recently had his Twitter account disappear for 11 glorious minutes, but hopefully his plans to build a border wall will vanish forever following this move by Cards Against Humanity. Check out these grandmas who got hilariously high for the first time and played a game of Cards Against Humanity. Did you buy one of the surprise gift packages for this holiday season before they became sold out? Let us know in the comments below.